peace, peace. It's the attachment one, man. And I was just doing some more research on slave numbers according to their numbers, plus with the count that it was Indian slaves, plus the count from the census. All right, so I'm gonna try to format some of this stuff because I'm just freestyling off of the way I just actually kind of figured this out. All right, so. Now, this is just for any of you scholars that want to come on here and debate this, all right? Now, let's keep this in mind, okay? The Indian slaves in which that they had within these colonies, right? They counted them, right? Now, understand this, right? But they're, they're not showing on the census, all right? So, that's, that, that tells you already right there. That, that's how we can prove already that, that black people are Indians, all right? Now, check this out, all right? Now... It says Indian slave trade in in the Amer in American Southeast. All right, so it says the enslavement of Native Americans was commonly across the thirteen British colonies of Florida in the sixteen hundreds and early seventeen hundred, but especially in the American Southeast. All right, so it's telling you that it was especially in the American Southeast. What else was in the Southeast? It's supposed to be the African slave trade. All right, now check this out. It said it is commonly it is commonly believed that Africans were the only people who were enslaved in the Americas. However, it, in some of the Southeast colonies, no Native American slaves at times outnumbered the African descendants. Now check this out. Now, if they outnumbered the African descendants, where did they go on the census? Now, I'm going to, listen, I'm, I don't know. I might make 10 more, more, more videos on this right here until people understand this. Because the people who supposed to be so scholastical, um, you know what I'm saying, sharp and everything, they is not understanding this because I'm still getting these same comments of people Calling my work pseudo, calling my work, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, listen, this shit is, is plain and simple to most of us who come on this page. We already understand this. Now, let me get back into this, all right? So, it says, now, remember this. Pan-Africans who don't know nothing about this and you so-called scholars who don't know nothing about this. It say it is commonly believed that Africans were the only people who were enslaved in the Americas. However, in some of the Southeast colonies, now in some of the Southeast colonies, all right, it say Native American slaves at times outnumbered those of African descent. Native, Native were sometimes used as labor on plantations or as servants uh, to uh, um, wealthy colonist families. Other times they were used as interpreters for European traders. The policies on the treatment of slavery of Native American vary from colony to colony in the Southeast. A large part of the Native American slave trade in the Southeast consisted of, I mean, of other Native native trappers and selling other natives into slavery this trade between the colonists and native american had a profound effect on shaping the natural i mean the nature of slavery in the southeast all right let me see something let me see something all right hold on because i'm looking for something i want to show you guys something just, just for people who don't know where the Southeast at, man. Because, you know, you got some people in here that's not that bright. You got people who claim they bright. All right, boom. Let me see. I can do it. I can show you on this one. I had this open already. All right, so this the East. This is the Southeast. All right, so bright, bright people and smart guys. This is the East. This is the southeast, all right? The southeast is all the way from right here, what we call Virginia or Delaware, all the way down to Florida, all right? And maybe I'm wrong. It might be Virginia all the way to Florida, but it's this is the southeast, all right? And this is where they tell you that they was bringing Africans at, all right? So, let me see. What was I? I was right here. No, I was right here. All right, just let you know I got a bunch of stuff up on the screen, you guys. All right, so the Southeast. All right, because we already know they had slaves in Massachusetts. All right, so say slavery in the Southeast colony. 
the southern colonies of the United States were known for their use of slavery to keep their large plantation economy running, as well as the terrible ways in which the slaves were treated. It usually assumed that all the slaves were from Africa. However, Native Americans were frequently enslaved and in some cases were used more than African slaves. The Native American slave trade in the colonial southeast was brought to the peak with the use of European weapons as well as trade by Native and of Native in exchange for ammunition for weapons as well as other European English goods all right so that's selling you that's telling you right there all right so now however the environment of, na of the natives in the slavery and other natives were was not a model that would be able to sustain itself for long and say and the depletion of resource Native American in this sense being the resource um, coupled with the Yamasee War of, of 1715 would eff 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 effectively bring an end to the use of Native Americans as slaves in colonial Southeast. All right, now I don't believe that. Now check this out. Remember, now look, remember, think about this, right? They tell you that the Seminole was runaway slaves that was African, right? Now, after reading this, do you believe that? Do you believe that the Seminole was running? Because remember, the Yamasee was the, the Yamasee turned into the Seminole, and, and this saying right here. Now, this right here, this little saying right, Native American sense being a resource, coupled with the Yamasee War, the Yamasee became the Seminole. The Seminole moved out. Remember, if we dealing with, let me see, what was we at right here? I just want to pull the map back up. Uh, I think I oh it's right here. Alright, so if you Dylan, they telling you they had slaves in the southeast, right? They telling you they had Indian slaves in the southeast. But you got swear up and down that the Seminole was runaway slaves because they say runaway slaves that they, that made them Africans. All right. Now it tells you this is telling you right there that the Seminole was already Aborigines and they wasn't mixed with no Africans. Okay. Now check this out. Let's go back to this man. That was it. This one. Yeah, it was right here. All right. So I'm going to read the rest of this right here, and then I'm going to go on to the rest of the presentation. All right. So slavery in the Carolinas. All right. Now, remember, there wasn't supposed to be no slaves. Remember, first of all, there wasn't supposed to be no Indians as slaves because they told you they killed all the Indians off. Right. Now, number two is they said that they couldn't make the Indians as slaves. But they're telling you in some instances in the southeast. In the southeast, there was more Indian slaves than Africans, okay? And we're going to get to the bottom of this, all right? We're going to get to the bottom of this, all right? So you guys cannot run away from this one, all right? So the trade system between the native of the natives, the colonists, and the in, in England helped to get the colonial economy on its feet. Now, check this out. Now, you heard, you heard what it said. The trade between the native and the colonists... And, the, and England helped to get the colonial economy on its feet when it was first founded in the late 1600s. All right. So they telling you that they had Indian slaves from the 1600s. Where did they go? Okay. And this is going, I'm going to keep on making videos on this, this topic right here. It say this trade system allowed for Carolina colony to then set up its plantation which mainly introduced rice and indigo weed they say and bringing with it no and bringing with it the African slaves to say who would who would then work the plantation that's bullshit all right let's 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 just don't even let's not let's not let's not even involve that right there because we know that's bullshit they get said that the Indians work in the plantations Okay, let's say this trade system involved the West, the West O group who had previously came down from further north. The West O were, were giving English goods in exchange for beavers and other animal plate. It's saying captured natives to be sold into slavery. The slavery of the Native Americans was critical, was crucial 
in both phases of the colon of the colonies cha changing economy slavery especially the native americans was allowed in legislation framework of the colony with the creation of slave codes <laughs> the slave codes <laughs> hold up so so the native americans were slaves when the slave codes <laughs> yo look man yo i'm just let me just let me just stop real quick i gotta laugh at this shit, man but like I said, man, I don't speak the Queens or King English very well or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's like the older I'm getting, the more I'm being, becoming unprogrammed, all right? Now, check this out, all right? Now, it's telling you that the end. <laughs> Yo, I did this so much research on this. I am so convinced, man. I'm like me, myself. I am so convinced. I am so convinced, man. Doing the research on this led me to, like, you know, beyond the pictures and beyond what the anthropologists and paleontologists said or whatever. Beyond all of that. Beyond all that. You know what I'm saying? This is my personal research for myself. This is, just, I mean, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing this as, as I'm learning a lot of this stuff. You guys are learning it because most of the time I do. Sometime I read some of these passages twice. Sometime I just read over them, and it's, sometime I forget it when I go back over it again. All right, so it's telling you right here, man. You know, what I'm saying. Let me read through a little bit more. So it says, "Slave code." Soon after the creation of the colony, as slaves, the natives were expected to hunt while the black slaves worked the plantation. That's bullshit, man. It say that the trade with the Indians continued. So did the Westwood, the Westward, Westward Ward, were trying to limit the amount of trade done done with the natives. However, Queen and War in interrupted the building campaign against trading and allowing the increased sales for I mean decreased sales of slaves in Charleston. Often the price of native slaves were lower than that of blacks due to the increased amount of native slaves who escaped and enslaved enslaved no escape escape was relatively easy for the Native Americans as they knew the land well and often were not far from their own people. Now they lying about that because they telling you all now and just remember this too. All of these ports that they got, man, Louisiana. How are you bringing slaves to Louisiana? So you coming all the way through the Caribbean and going all the way up the Mississippi and then you dropping them off right there? Who was the ones doing that? It had to be the French because the French was the only people coming to Louisiana. So how was they bringing slaves there if the Louisiana Purchase was, was created in, in, in 17 something or whatever? So when they you telling me what happened to the slaves that the French had? And that's, I'm going to do another video on that because I'm starting with this research. I'm starting to find out. I'm starting to think that the fucking French took the Indians from Louisiana to fucking Haiti, yo. And not to mention it was already our watch there, okay? It was already our watch there. But I ain't thinking that they had to. So, I mean, look, this is, just, this is just the way my mind is working or whatever because I'm seeing a lot of inconsistencies and in all of this stuff, man. There's there's so many inconsistencies to where how can you believe any of this shit? How can you go to school and somebody tell you something and then you can relate back to school when most of the articles that I look up is in is in is inaccurate? Most of the articles don't even the only thing I can't go by is off the census because the census will at least be somewhat accurate. Okay, they telling you in these same states where they're supposed to be black slaves that they had Indian slaves, but they're not on the fucking census, man. You understand? They're not on the fucking census, man. All right, so, ah, man, this is, this, is, this is a lot, man. I say, as the trade with the Indians continue, so did the slavery of Native Americans. <laughs> it say, however, due to the growing trade monopoly of colonies, some of the colonists such as Henry Westward, I think I read that, I read this already, we're trying to limit the amount of trade that was done, alright, so I read this right here, it say often, I read that right there, I read this right here, it says slave owner solution to the problem of the escaped natives were to send them to work in the West Indies, where they would not be able to escape, 
However, the break of the Yamasi War in 17... Look, yo, listen. Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something, all right? Let me tell y'all something, bro. I'm thinking that the people that was in that come from Haiti didn't come from Africa, bro. I'm telling you. And then, like I said, all right, there's, there's, I got two theories on that alone or whatever. But my now my theory is I'm starting to think after the Louisiana Purchase, the, the fucking French went to Haiti. Because they don't show you that they was in Haiti prior to. Yo, this is a lot of research that got to be done. But most of this stuff, we can sit here and, and, and break this shit down right here. Because it's telling you everything it needs to tell you. Now, all right, let me go to the next thing. But there's a lot more on this. Let me just give you guys the, let's say, Indian slavery in the southeast. Um, as you see, they do got sources right here. The colonial slave. Just to let you guys know, man. I ain't just no naive guy, man. It just be, I don't just be picking any articles, man. I'm not just naive. It's just after doing the research, it's hard to really pinpoint this information it's very hard. It's very hard. You have to even even if you go back in the records, the records is still unclear. You go back in in, in the records, the records is still unclear. Now check this out. All right, now look. It tells you trade. All right, you got slavery in Florida, slavery in Georgia, slavery in Carolina, slavery in, in the Southeast Colony. So what happened to the slaves that was in Florida? They telling you in the, in the mid 1700s, right? Let's check this out. Boom. You know I gotta keep this. This is my baby right here. I I love this. I I actually love this this document right here. Now let's let's just go to Florida real quick. Just and, then, and this is just this is just touching way off of what I was pre what I was really indicate. I mean trying to really get at. But I just want to show you guys something. Just how simple we can just sit here and use our brain and just like yo these people are lying. All right, so we in Alabama right there. So let me see. What's this? Arkansas. Let me see. And whatever state that was, that state was long as hell. All right, so where we at? Colorado, Colorado, all right, hold up. Let's see, Delaware, all right, should be coming up. All right, here we go, Florida. Now, here we go in Florida, right? Now, you notice in Florida, since they was already in Florida, the earliest census go to 1850. That's the earliest that I see on here. This is the census from 1790. So it shows you all the states where it got the census of 1790. Now remember, the reason why I think that this census was done late because they were still warring with the Yamashis and the Seminole. They was warring with them all that time. All that time they was warring with them and they could not really come. They could not really come and start um, colonizing Florida like that. All right, so now look. Check it out. Now, remember, you guys already know this. I'm just going to go just to show y'all. These are race, it's white, total population, white, black, American, Indian, Asian, Pacific Island, and other race, Hispanics, all right? Now, just so funny that they got you broken down in different brackets. All right, and then you know what? I'm sorry because this is not the one I actually intended to get because this don't show you this show this breaks it down by the states. See you see the different states, Jacksonville, Hollywood. So this breaks Florida down by the state. So it's not showing you how many was exactly in Florida. I mean there's a document on here, but I really don't feel like looking for it. But as you see, in some states it was total five hundred, it was seventy three free. 440 was enslaved in Florida, but let me go ahead because I'm getting off. I'm getting way off the top of where I was at, but I just wanted to show you guys that that they had so-called Native American slaves in Florida, Georgia, and in the Carolinas. And remember what they said. They said this. I didn't say this. Okay, I didn't say this. So for any of you guys who reading this, 
who who's like, oh man, this guy's making it up. I'm not saying I didn't say none of this. Say it is commonly believed that Africans were the only people who were enslaved in the Americas. However, in some in some of the Southeast colonies, Native American slaves at times outnumbered those of African descent. <laughs> There you have it. Now check this out. Now these, if the, in those states where they outnumbered them at, right? Why are they not being classified as Indians? Because if you go down, now look, check this out. Let me see. This that's some other research I was looking at. All right, bam, bam. All right, let's deal with this right here. This is just a brief. This is just brief right here, right? This is in 1860, and I was looking at this because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to be crossed up on my research on this, all right? So I'm not going to really be touching on this too much, all right? Because it's only giving you the 13 states or the first 13 colonies, all right? It's not giving you the other states because when you go on this document right here, you see that it go to other states outside of them 13, you know what I'm saying? It go to states that's not up there. So... Let me just show y'all something. This is what I was looking for. All right, here we go. Let me open up a little bit. All right, so I think it's this one right here. No, it's this one. All right. All right, but here you go. <coughs> So this for the whole entire United States from 1790 to 1999, all right? So this is their census. This is not the Tonchinous one. I did not um, copy and paste none of this stuff. This is an actual document. You guys can look it up, the census of 1790 or whatever. Um, all right, so look, we're going to go right here. We're going to go to 1790, right? Now look, 1790, all right? So remember, let me show you guys again just so you'll know. Total population, white, black, Indians, Asians, and Hispanic. All right, it wasn't none of these. None of these people was here until later on. All right, it was just, it was just us and the Europeans. All right, now check this out. Let's deal with this. 1790. Bam. All right. So this is total population. This is black. Total black free. And this is slaves, all right? So it's saying the total population of so-called black people or whatever you want to call it in 1790 was 757,208, all right? Now it's telling you it was 59,527 free blacks and 600, 697,681,000 slaves, all right? Now check this out. Now you see, now you see right here, this is for the whole United States, right? If there was Indian slaves, right? If the Indians and the blacks are not the fucking same, right? Now remember, look, this is for you scholars, all right? Just a, this is another checkmate in your face. Uh, American Indians, Eskimo, American Indians by race, all right? So look. Let's go down. It just said the article I just read just told you along with the other articles and the plenty of other scholars who already told you that there was Indian slavery in the southeast where you where they told you that they brought so-called Africans at. Now check this out. Where are they at? Where are they? You understand? Where are they at? Just tell me where they at. Because I don't see no Indians present. Because they right here, man, they ain't even bring no African. Now, let me show y'all something else. Now, this is in 1790, okay? It's saying we went over the numbers, all right? So, as you go up, in 1800s, there's a million, and they go all the way up to 1790. By 1790, no, I'm sorry, by 1890, there's almost 7, there's almost um, 7, 7, 7, 7 million Four hundred and seventy thousand and four forty whatever. So this is how many so-called blacks, right? And then they show you Indians right here, right now. Where did these Indians come from? Where where did these Indians come from, right? Now check this out. Now look, if the Indians was here the whole time, where did they come from? Where where did they just pop up now? Now you start seeing them after the eighteen sixties. Where did they pop up at? Now this is a whole nother this is a whole nother theory on this right here where these people came from. 
You understand? But it tells you out of the black people. And even if we go back down here, let's go back down to 1850 right here. 1850, there was three, there was three million six hundred and thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and eight black people, right? In 1850, there was still no Indians. So how the fuck? Excuse my language. How the hell in ten in ten years? Of four of um forty four forty four thousand Indians just pop up on the census. Now they ain't had no cars. They, they had trains and everything. But you tell me how forty four forty four thousand Indians just popped up. Now mind you, most of these people in these areas did not travel, did not move around unless they were slaves. And I can show you something else that people don't think about, right? How do you get slaves in? Like I said, Louisiana and like um up in Detroit and Michigan. How do you get slaves all the way up there? Now, you cannot remember. The European was coming along the coast. This is the way they tell you. They was coming on the coast, bringing the people inland to the coast. All right, now, you could think of it like this, too, right? How was you How was you walking slaves all the way? How did, slave, how did you bring boats up? You had to come all the way up the Caribbean, all the way up to Louisiana, all the way up to, like, the Louisiana. Like the Mississippi. Now, think of it like this. For them to go that way, meaning that they had to go that way already. They ain't just going to take that route right there. They already then took people from Louisiana to the Caribbean. But they just told you that they took Native Americans to West Indies. Now, that's like my fifth video on this, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over something else that I felt, right? Now, you see the numbers right here, right? Now, boom. Now, these is estimates, right? Now, I'm going to go back out. This is slavevoice.org, all right? Now, this is what I heard somebody reference, man. Somebody gave reference this, right? But check this out. <coughs> Excuse me. Check this out. Now, these are the total different slaves that was taken from 1501 to the 1600s right this is one column and all the way up from 1801 to 1900s now you got spain your great portugal brazil great britain the netherlands the united states france denmark whatever and whatever all right so all of these states right here involved right now check this out what they want you to believe is this all of these states these were all africans Right, but think about it like this from a think about it like this from a common sense perspective, right? The Spanish came to the Americas first, right? The Spanish came here first, right? Supposedly the Spanish came here first, according to the the, the history we got. Columbus, whatever. He came here first. What did Columbus say he did when he went back to Europe? He took fifteen hundred so called Arawaks to him to Europe. Now we got the picture that St. Mary the Good when they had Afros, all right? So now check this out, bust this. Now, they told you he took people from here to Spain. Now, in Columbus logs, you don't see nothing about him bringing no Africans here. This is how you, this is how you, this is how you really trap anybody off who doing this research. Because they, Columbus never say he brought any Africans here. But he said he sure took people from here to Europe. Now, what happens this? What happens later? The Portuguese follows the Spaniards and try to do the same thing that Columbus said that he did. They come here, went to Brazil, and they found Negroes. The same thing, well, whatever you want to call them, whatever tribe that they were, or Arawaks, or whatever they was in that region, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then you got Great Britain, okay? Now, you see Great Britain, because remember, Britain didn't really, Britain didn't come to like the 1600s, man, like the early 1600s, alright? So, for them to bring over African, because look, when you read Power Hotten, and you read, you read, where all right matter of fact you know what i'm off on that my bad i'm off on that because i'm, I'm jumping the gun let me let me stop all right i'm jumping the gun but great britain why would great britain why what makes you think that these are africans that they bought here and but the and look at these numbers man these numbers matter of fact these numbers might be correct because remember they was taking people from out of here man you understand now when we get to the u.s right now check this shit out all right, now this is the total amount of slaves that they said they bought here from the 1600s to, I guess, whatever, to after the 1900s, well, 1900s. All right, now check this out. Look, look, people. Look, let's deal with this. And, and this is, I don't, we ain't gotta, you ain't got to be the smartest person in the world to really figure this out. 
1670. I mean, from 1601 to 1700s. Now, look. Look how many people there was in here. Now, I can't show you that on the census, right? I can't show you the census until right here, until 1790. All right, so in the 1800s, they telling you that it was... It was a hundred. It was a hundred and eighty-nine thousand three hundred and four so-called slaves here. All right. Now remember, what slaves were they? For this low number right here. Now check this out. This is in the eighteen hundreds. Now I say by the eighteen by eighteen hundreds, it was almost two hundred thousand slaves here. Right. Let's check this out. Boom. Let me go back to the top just for you illiterate people. Or people who don't really comprehend that easy. Now look, United States total total population white, black, Indians. All right. Now we just went over the fact that they already told you that they supposed to have Indian slaves here in all of the South. Well, I'm not saying all the Southeast states, but I'm thinking that if you had them in some, you had them in all. They cannot cover this shit up, man. They cannot cover it up. They cannot cover it up. Now check this out. Now, it said by the 1800s. Boom, we right here. 1790, 1800s. Now, look, it's telling you right here in eighteen in the 1800s, there's a million so-called black people here. In 1700s, I mean, 1790s, there's 700, 700, whatever. All right, so it's telling you in 1800s, there's a million, right? But when you go here, no, it was this one. No, it's this one. No, I'm bugging. It's this one. When you go here, it tells you, that they only bought 350, 300,526 300, people here in, in a span from the 1600s to the 1900s. Now, this is what they tell me. Now, I'm, I'm thinking that these was people who was already out to the Caribbean that they was bringing back and forth, man. This is what I'm thinking, along with the maybe, I don't know, I'm not even going to think, I don't even think that they bought. Honestly, to be honestly true, with the way we doing this research, because they did not conquer Africa until like after they came here. So for them to tell you that they went there and they were snatching up all these people, if anything that they was raiding, they was doing the same thing that they started doing here. Because understand this, right? They was doing the same thing that they was doing here. They was riding around the coast of Africa, capturing one, two, three slaves. They did not have no trade with no people to where they were sending millions of people over here. Yo, they lied to us, bro. And this right here tells you. This, and, and we give. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, so if, say from 1670 to 1890. Now, this is supposed to be slavevoyagesman.org, man. So this is supposed to be a slave, this is supposed to be something that you can go to and find real information on, okay? Now, check this out. In eight, from, from 1600s to the so, oh, I'm sorry, I'm right here, my bad. From 1600s to the 1900s, they telling you they bought 300,000, 5,326 people here, all right? But, now, the census is shown by the, let's see, by the, the 1900s, let me see something, by the 1900s, there's almost 8 million people here that's black. Let's check this out. Look. Look, black people. 18, let's go right here. Let's go. They said 1900s. 1900s, there's almost 9 million black people here. Okay, there's almost 9 million black people here. How did that number jump up? Look. Or, or we could just say that this is another Pseudo website because I haven't been able to find no actual documents on this. But if this is the number right here, if this is the number right here, we know why this number is so high. Because these was indigenous people. There was more indigenous people enslaved here than anybody. And if they, like, look, listen, man, the record showed you. I'm showing you right here, man. Like I said, man, I don't speak the King English the best. But guess what? I got common sense, man. And from just being on the streets, being street smart, when you start reading a lot of this stuff, man, you start like, man, hold up, man. Listen, I'm not a detective, but I'm damn sure not. I'm not a detective or I'm not somebody who 
like, you know, been trained to do this. This is just common freaking sense, man. It's just common sense, man. See, people didn't, you didn't think that I was going to pull the senses up and then start looking at these logs and looking at this shit separately like this, did you? You didn't think I was going to do that. Now, like I said, all of these people in Spain right here, I'm thinking that these are Aborigine people that was brought from the Americas from the whole time that they was coming here, along with Portuguese, same thing with Great Britain, the Netherlands, the same thing with the Americas and France, okay? And France. Do not believe that these people that the, that came, maybe some of them did because the French was in Africa. Remember, the French was in Africa. The French did, um, they was in Egypt. They did capture some of the last of the black Egyptians that was there and enslaved them. But I'm thinking that the majority of the slaves came from the Americas. The majority of these people came from the America. Now, it's telling you in total, there's 12. They're telling, it's telling you in total. This from all, this between all of these, this is Spain, Portugal, Great Britain, Netherlands, um, USA, France, Denmark. Okay, so it's telling you a total of 12 million people. Okay, now this is, this is 12 million people. Now, this is in, like I said, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven different so called countries or in one, one continent. And these are all different countries in Europe or whatever. But it's telling you 12 million all together. All right, now, look at these numbers. This is 1900s, man. It's, it's almost 9,000, it's almost 9 million people here. You understand what I'm saying? There's almost 9 million people there. Because you know what I'm starting to think too? That the rest of the tribes that wasn't conquered, they was Christianized and they just gathered along with us. Alright? Because, man, look, man. It, it, this is like... Oh, man. Let me show y'all something else, man. Alright, so... What was the other? Alright, just so this article right here. Let, let's, let's say... Let's say for instance, right? If I go back here, I can actually go to East State and really get a good, get an estimate of how many people was here additionally with these states right here, all right? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 13 of the so-called 50 states, all right? So in the 13 states, then, now remember, they tell you in the, in, the, in the southeast. The southeast would be Georgia, would be probably Delaware, Georgia, Maryland, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. All of that is southeast. So they telling you in the southeast. Once again, we go back to we go back to this again. They're telling you the enslavement of Native Americans was common across the 13 British colonies and Florida in some in the 1600s and the early 1700s, but especially in the American Southeast. It is commonly believed that Africans were the only people who were enslaved in America. However, in some Southeast colonies, Native American slaves outnumbered. The African descendants. Now, which which southeast um country states was that? Let's let's sit here and, and 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 figure them out, okay? Because they they lying about this shit, man. And, and like I said, they lying about. It. Now, this is remember. I'm gonna count Delaware. Del Delaware will be southeast. So we got one, two, three. We got four. We I mean, well, no, I'm not gonna count Pennsylvania. We got five, we got six. So out of the out of the original thirteen colonies, six of them will be considered southeast states, all right? So out of those southeast states, which of them more had the the so called um slaves in it? Now look, it's showing you right here. Now, look, this is from seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty, right? So let's assume that the the so called Indian let's assume that they did free the Indians, all right. Where are they at? Where where are they at on the sense? Let let's let's just say let's say let's say this right. Let's say that they free the Indians in them so-called states, right? In seventeen thirty, I'm just putting a number out there. In seventeen thirty, where are they at? Where are they at right here? They're not showing in the census. Now, like I said, if they was enslaving these people. 
for a whole hundred years, and I'm assuming they don't want to put the eighteen hundreds because then people gonna start, then they gonna start getting close. So like, hold up, man. If you was enslaving these people all this time, where are they at, man? And that's what I'm trying to say, man. This is the, this is the, the like getting close to the end of this research, man. Because I'm 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 already cl clear on my end. I'm already clear on my end because you got these bullshit ass databases that gives you numbers like this: three hundred and five thousand. I mean, there are three three hundred and five thousand supposedly slaves that was brought to the United States in two so-called two hundred years. Where the hundred million people that they was telling you? And on top of that, these people, these people right here, from the damn Americas. Okay, now just for you guys that want to challenge me or you want to come on here and you don't, you know, you want to come on with the the bullshit. Let me get, let me find something real quick. Alright, hold up. Alright, this is um, The Slave Owner Solution to the Problem of the Escaped Native Native Slaves were to send them to work in the West Indies where they would not be able to escape, man. They was already sending them to the West Indies from the door. But when you see all these posters, oh, it's escaped slave, oh, you assume that they was Africans, don't you? You assume that they was Africans, don't you? Okay, you assume that they was African, and then that's what I'm saying. They contradict themselves with this information. But one thing, one thing, none of you scholars can do. We can sit here and debate the numbers. We can sit here and debate. We can sit here and debate a lot of this stuff. But one thing you cannot debate, and this is like I said, this is basic information right here. It says the enslavement of Native Americans across the 13 British colonies and Florida in the 16 and early 1700s, but especially in the southeast. It is commonly believed that Africans were the only people who were enslaved in America. Now, if you had all these Indians that were slave here, why would you why would you spend more money to bring Africans here? Why would you why would you spend why wouldn't you just take them Africans to, to Europe? Or France, or why would you? Why would you bring them here? Because you know how much money that cost them to bring them here. They lying, they lying. Now look, check that. I say, believe that Africans was the only people who were enslaved in America. However, in some Southeast colonies, Native American slaves outnumbered those African descendants. So, if these states where they outnumber that, where are these people at on the damn census? Okay, because we can, I can sit here and really be. I can sit here. Let me see something. All right, right here. I can sit here and really be tedious and say, all right, well, we're going to go through Georgia. We're going to go through Maryland. We're going to go through, we already know what slaves in Massachusetts. We can go through Carolina. We can go through South Carolina. We can go through Virginia. We can go through all them states from that time because it's telling you in the 1700s, we can go, we can go to all these different states in, in here and we won't find none of these people we won't find no Indians on the damn census, okay? So was they separating the so-called Africans from the Indians? But most people will say, oh, they, they brought so many Africans here. So if they brought so many Africans here, right? This is one more last time I'm going to go on this, man. This is this is their estimates. And this, you, you go ahead and show you all these fake-ass scholars. Oh, these people is from Cambridge and all this other shit. These motherfuckers is full of shit. 305,000, okay? And, and, and from the 1600s, from the 1600s to the, to the, the 1900s, all right? Telling you this is how many people supposed to be here, okay? Well, I'm just saying. Well, with that, you can account the people having babies and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But this is how many people they tell you that they bought here. All right. So, I mean, when I said that I was wrong about that, um, like how in this it, it was that many people here or whatever, though. But I don't even believe them numbers, man. I don't believe them numbers. The numbers do not match up, do not add up. Um, we can do something basic. Where is that? It's this one, right here. We could do something basic like this. All right, so let's go right here. So let's say, now it's saying a whole hundred years, they bought 4,000 people here. All right, so the next hundred years, they bought almost 200,000 people here. Okay, but like I said, in, in a lot of these states where they claiming that these people are Africans, these people are so-called Aborigines. And, and these articles prove it. These articles prove it. Okay, so look, 
So if it, they bought four four thousand people in in a hundred in a hundred year span, and then the next hundred years they bought almost they bought almost two, they bought almost two two hundred thousand people, and then the last year they bought a hundred thousand people. But these numbers don't add up, man. These numbers don't add up. And even if you were to say, all right, well. These out of these people right here, out of these four thousand people, let's say that they procreated and made another eight thousand. But then we have to assume uh, how many of these was women and how many of them was men, and who was they procreating with? You understand? So that's another. That's a whole another topic for a whole another day. But like I said, look at these numbers. It's telling you three hundred in a two hundred year span. It's telling you three hundred um three hundred thousand. And if you go here, you see how the numbers jump up. You telling you from seventeen ninety, there's almost seven. So you telling me in a hundred year span, in a two hundred year span, the numbers jumped up to seven to seven thousand. I mean seven hundred thousand people or so called blacks or t the total because remember you got free and you got slaves so from this is the united states 1790 so 1790 there was 700,000 1800s uh, a million 1810 a million you go all the way up to 1860 right here all right but then like, like i said in 1860 in 1840 50, you don't see no damn Indians. You don't see no Indians on the chart, but it tells you that these was Indian slaves. But then when you go to a lot of these slave states, the only thing you see is blacks. You see black, free, and slaves, okay? Because they, they, yo, it, like I said, the majority of the slaves, I'm going to say 95% of them was so-called Aborigines. They bought maybe 5% of the so-called Africans over here or whatever you want to believe but you do your own research on this all right maybe my numbers might be off a little bit or whatever maybe I might miscalculate something but one thing I can tell you ain't no way in the world they telling you that they bought that they had it was at times the Native American slaves outnumbered the so-called African descendants so where are these Native American slaves at that was in these southeast states where are they at I said, man, this is just basic research. This is not even digging real deep or whatever. This is just like really just, I just want to just put this out there so you guys can do your research. But for you guys who do your research, make sure you download this document right here, census.gov um, or whatever, because this is very crucial right here, man. They telling you it was Indian slaves. They telling you that they separated the slaves because it's telling you right here, right? It's saying that on this one it's saying that the African slaves who worked in the plantation so if the African slaves worked the plantation and the Indians were separate from the Africans that means that's telling you that they had that they telling you that they were separating them they they was telling you that they had African slaves and Indian slaves but if they had African slaves and Indian slaves then why you don't see no Indian slave why don't they have a separate Indian column like they do for um blacks unless blacks was the Indians Okay, unless blacks wasn't Indians. Why don't they have a separate column for the Indians and have Indian slaves total free and slaves like they got for black people? If, I, if they separate, if they telling you right here that they separated or they knew the difference from the Africans and the Indians or whatever, then why the hell don't they have a separate column for the Indians? And why don't you see the Indians on none of these senses, even if they was free, where are they at? Now I, I can tell if I if I would see one or two, you don't see none. You don't see none. It's a not available, not available. But these people was in bondage, so where they at? Like I said, man. Whenever, like I said, I'm about to start doing these live streams, man. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, man. We're gonna be exposing a lot of these people who claim they got so much research, man, because they can't explain this. And half, like I said, half of these scholars that you speak to, when you mention the word slave, they do not say, well, hold up. Do you mean Indian slaves or African slaves? What slaves are you talking about? Or are you talking about Europeans? Or are you, or, or if you want to be politically correct, the, the Indian, the so-called Aborigines was not slaves. They were prisoners of war. And the ones that was the ones that converted was indentured servants. So the ones that and the ones that agreed to to be and then another thing. Just remember this too, right? 
for a lot of people who always um, say, all right, well, that was a black man that was with George Washington and all these people who fought in the revolutionary wars and all that. There was Indians that basically was Christianized and colonized, man. There was straight Indians that was Christianized and colonized, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and let me see something real quick. Let me just see before I get off of this. I want to see something. I want to, because I was looking at something. I want to just see if I can find it real quick. Because it kind of applies to what we talking about right here. All right, hold up. I want to see colonial states. Colonial time. All right, this, uh, this is just something right here. So it's saying Indian slavery in colonial time. You know, it's, it's another PDF. Um, I don't feel like going all the way to the top to show you guys. Let me see. I mean, I will show you. That was page 22. So this is the PDF. It's saying Indian slavery in colonial time within present limits of the United States. All right. So it's, that's the person who writing it. PhD. Or whatever, Columbia University. Alright, so let's go back down. Go all the way back down to 22. Alright, so what's this? Alright, that's 17. No, well, hold up. Let me see something. Well, this has something too, but that's not what I was looking for. Let me see this way. Right now, now, this should tell you, man. Um, you know what? No, I'm not going to read this, but this has a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to touch on this in the next video. Um,. But yeah, this has a lot of stuff in it, man. And like I said, the key to it is stu study the Indian slavery, man. Forget everything that you've been you've been told to, to study. Study the Indian slavery, man. And use the senses and, and look at the numbers. The numbers is incorrect. The numbers are incorrect, man. They are incorrect. The people that they are counting, like on this so-called, on this one, or was it this one? Yeah, on, no, is it this one? Yeah, all right, it's this one. On this one, like I'm telling you, these people are these people are Aborigines from America, man. When they tell you it was more Aborigines took them out than took them, what? Who would be the ones that took them out? The Spain, the Portuguese, and the and, and the English, and the English. Who would be the ones that took them out? If Christopher Columbus said he took 1,500 out, the Portuguese said they took people from the island of um, Richport and Brazil and all them other places. What makes you think that they didn't take nobody from there to their country? So when you look at these numbers, these are not fucking Africans. These are indigenous people that came from the Americas, man. They did not bring no damn Africans. The people that they brought over with servants that was working with them, they probably brought... Their own men over. How they gonna bring over people when they first come here when they don't even know what to expect? How they gonna even know they're gonna take they gonna take over the land in that region? Yeah, Columbus went to an island, but how how the Portuguese knew they was gonna be successful and they just brought over all these men automatically? No, they came here, enslaved the people, took people back, then said, Yo, we're gonna bring more men back and we're gonna capture the whole we're gonna capture the whole continent and we're gonna put the, the prisoners awarded, they're gonna be put to work for us and the, and the ones that want to submit is going to be in indentured service and that's pretty much it man that's pretty much it man remember they came here first man they came don't let none of them mongoloids sit here and fucking lie to you about yeah well they came here first they didn't they listen you see all this right here north dakota south dakota um wyoming and Colorado and all that shit. They didn't come to none of this shit until later on, man. They didn't come to none of this shit till later on because you see it, there's no green hair. You see all of this shit is damn near flat, man. You see all the brown? You see all the green right here? All of this is green vegetation. You see all this shit? All of this is green. All this is green. You see all of this? None of this shit is green right here, bro. 
All of this shit is desert land. And you see that there's very little rivers and lakes that run through this area right here. So why would any damn Indian choose to live in a damn desert? The only place you can really live is here around the Great Lakes, around here, and around here. That's the, listen, think about it like this, right? Think about it like this, right? Louisiana. Louisiana is right here, right? So why do you think it was just so easy? Let me see. This is Louisiana. Why do you think it was just so easy for the Span the Spanish, the I mean the French to just come right here and flow right on out here? And take people from here to there. Because they somehow got in cahoots with the people in DR. And somehow got a third of the fucking corner of the island or whatever. And like I said, after Louisiana Purchase, you think they, they went here and went all the way. Because think about it like this, right? How did they get into Louisiana anyway? You think these people actually came. And this is going off topic, but this is just something a little extra for you guys. I'm just saying, this is this is just my theory. This France right here, right? So you think that people from France actually came, rolled all the way around, or even, even if they came this way. Let's say that they came this way. They came down this way. And then they started enslaving people or whatever. Because remember, they was in Egypt. They was in Egypt, all right? But remember, you think that they came here. Boom, they come here. Now, unless that they had other people... In these in these countries that was looking out for them, for them for them to come all the way from here to here is a long ass journey. Then from them to come, then they gonna come, they gonna come, they gonna go on Africa, they gonna take slaves, and they gonna come all the way here and go all the way across. This is a long ass fucking travel right here to come from anywhere up here, even where anywhere up here, anywhere right here, Ga Guinea, Mauritania, West uh, West Sahara, Morocco, anywhere up here, right here, if they come all the way over here, is a long ride. Not to mention, remember, they just came from France. They just came from France, so they came here and enslaved people here and said, "All right, well, boom, we, you know, we gonna go to um, Louisiana." They came all the way across here and then went into louisiana then set up shop there no they came here and slaved the people here and then when, when the louisiana person took place they took people with them they took them to the island of they took them to the um to haiti and that's when you have your fucking re um um, um, rever um what's the name your revolution they did not come from africa it, it just doesn't make no sense man it just after doing this research a lot of this stuff just doesn't make any freaking sense man you have to be a damn idiot. Nova Scotia right here. Look, you have to be a damn idiot to believe this shit. You know what I'm saying? You really have to be, man. I mean, I'm just telling you. Man. And people with these college degrees that keep on coming up here talking about, you keep on bragging about your college degrees. In some instances, if you're not really helping humanity or really doing nothing good, you need to take that degree and make a paper airplane out of it and fly that shit across the room. You know what I'm saying? The same thing like my degrees. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much the same thing. Because if you didn't learn none of this stuff in here, there, if your, your education is only as good as how smart you are. Because if you believe everything that your so-called teacher teaches you and you don't teach yourself nothing, then you are the biggest idiot. And, and like, like, like a wise man once told me, he said, you get two educations in this world. One education which is taught to you, the education which is which you seek out on your own, okay? And in, in most instances, the education that you seek out on your own, you 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 come you become more wiser and you become more intelligent off of that, all right? So with that being said, man, I'm the time to this one, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. But like I said, man, it's no way that... If you use your common sense, you think these people came all the way from France, they came, oh, we're going to go all the way around here, unless they came from Canada, because they also tell you that the French was in Canada. Now, that would make more sense, because, I know I just went back off topic again, but fuck, let me go ahead and just keep it freestyle. So, it said that the, the France, France, boom, and even that's a long-ass trip, man, that's a long-ass trip across the Atlantic Ocean, man. 
It really is, man. It really is. This shit right here look like an impossible mission, man. Unless you got ports out here and other ships that's carrying food or whatever. That's the only way you probably can pull that off, man. That's the only way you can pull that off, man. But you gonna bring people here, and then you don't know if people gonna make it. They are gonna survive. But you can damn sure take people from here out here along the coast, and uh, everywhere you go along the coast, you have a port set up to where you can read. I mean, you can um, get more food or get more water or whatever, and then keep on going until you reach a destination. So, like I said, man. With that being said, man. It's a this one. You guys, like I said, for you guys who doing your research, man, please download this document right here, man, because this is going to prove, man, when you pull up Indian slavery, you're going to ask, you're going to ask the scholars, where are these Indians um, that slave, when you get them to agree that there was Indian slaves, you ask them, where are they at on the census? Because they clearly tell you that they, that they was basically separating the Africans from the Indians, so where they at on the census? Like I said, man, look, man, I'm going to end this video here, man. I'm out. Peace.